Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the sledgehammer. This is uh, the best, if not among the best shotguns in the game. Uh, basically, after I use the mod for increasing the weight, I can actually try so many weapons now and I really don't want to miss many of them and I realize wow, how amazing shotguns are. I'm going to use them before in there by the mix and match between different things because it was limited with the resources. So once I start playing with the shotgun, oh boy, so this is the sledgehammer. And once upgraded, it's pretty crazy the stats just look at that damage penetration rate of fire accuracy the range of course because it's a shotgun it would be relatively limited but there's some option to increase the reduce the drop off uh, and also the spread so you can really deal massive damage even good for mid range before that i was using the uh, spsa 14 which served me very well i really enjoyed it Although I wish there was something more special between different of the unique weapons, in my opinion. I mean, I just wanted something extra, something different. Anyway, it still looks really cool, of course, with the scope as well. I really like the color, it just looks amazing. Now to get this, you need to become a master of the arena. Uh, basically, it's a side mission. And you'll be assigned to fights uh, uh, by Ernie. The location here, you can see, is uh, Rostock. All right, Rust took care of the map. So from your bed, you need just to go outside and then turn out you see a building with a sign, All right? And basically you need to just go down the stairs, several floors. I don't know why they made it so many floors, don't ask me. But this is when you meet this guy. Also, you can really, you need to do several fights. There's, by the way, chair, you can actually sleep there, go to bed. So you don't need to go to your bed uh, above. You can actually just rest here. So once the sign used to a fight, you need to get down again. There's going to be a place there to put everything. You don't need to do it, by the way, manually. But basically, once you get out, you can actually grab all your stuff. So no, no worries, you're not going to lose everything. Anyway, it's going to be a guy that uh, blah blah and then you can put everything in here, clicking and then getting inside and fighting. Each fight is going to be supposed to be harder than the one before. This is I think the second fight against some doggies. Make sure to pay attention to the items, the environment. You can actually make this one explode, so get rid of the duplications. So you're just left with the, the real ones, so it's easier to eliminate him. Then you go back to him, get the rewards, coupons, and uh, sleep at the bench. Gonna be a fight against uh, several enemies, you with a sniper this time. You don't need to choose the weapons, by the way. Keep in mind, you just, you know, what the game gives you. After that, there's a fight against a chimera. Uh, you can actually just go up, by the way, shoot it. Just go up here, uh, so it won't get you. It can hide sometimes, so just get down and shoot it. Just make sure to be accurate, because otherwise you're gonna lose uh, all your, you're gonna... Uh, be left without bullets and basically you won't be able to do anything. The last fight I recommend bringing a shotgun, it's pretty easy. Uh, you can actually use also the one that explodes, the barrels that explode. And basically it's kind of really cool fight. I guess AI, uh, it tries to, again, use automatic weapon. You can also bring automatic, choose automatic at the beginning of the fight or go with a shotgun, I went with a shotgun. And basically you need to eliminate him. Of course be accurate with it. You also have healing but again you have predefined items. Then you're gonna choose the first one because he was kind of had lots of armor. It wasn't what the character expected. You broke the rules and all. A fight is only worth watching when here. Tyrant won't be needing this gun anymore. Anyway, there's no something that tells you that you got it. It's kind of weird UI wise, but nonetheless, uh, even use just using an animation that can give you the weapon that would be amazing. Nonetheless, you're gonna get it here. You can see it. Yeah, a cool shotgun. So if you love shotguns, I highly recommend doing this uh, side mission. Have fun. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below or any other remarks. Thanks for watching. Cheers.